Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm State Senator Jeremy Cooney. I represent the 56th District, which is the Greater Rochester region, here in Albany today to kick off our Regenerate Cities tour. And this is a focus on cities outside of the city of New York. Uh, if you remember back at the start of the legislative session, uh, our majority leader, Andrea Stewart Cousins, made the commitment to start a new committee in the Senate called Cities 2, which is focused on understanding the needs and delivering uh, resources to cities outside of New York City. So over the next two weeks, we're going to be traversing across the state uh, to not just the traditional big five cities, but also to cities uh, both way up in the North Country and down in the Southern Tier. Today here in the Capital Region was our first of what we hope to have several roundtable conversations where we met with leaders uh, involved with the city of Albany, uh, municipal leaders, education leaders, economic development professionals, social services, philanthropic community leaders, folks who really care about understanding the needs of our urban centers outside of New York City. So we talked about the three issues that we think are going to be common threads across the state. What are those issues? Issues like workforce development and wealth generation. Infrastructure is the big buzz term right now, but understanding infrastructure in the broadest sense of that definition, understanding how we have to have a digital infrastructure as well as a physical infrastructure. And finally, making sure that we have strong urban cores and center cities. Downtown revitalization is a critical part of growth for cities up and down the throughway corridor. So these are the types of conversations that we started here today. So now if there are any questions for uh, any of the individuals who participated uh, in the uh, roundtable discussion today, we'd be happy to, to answer those questions. Um, I just have a question for you. I know uh, Governor Hochul, um, a lot of her focus so far has been on New York City and she's uh, you know, down there today. Um, how do you kind of you know, relay that message to her um, to focus on the upstate cities as well? Well, the good news is that Governor Hochul is a friend to upstate New York. She's known upstate New York since she was raised in Hamburg, just a little bit west of Rochester. Uh, she has traveled across the state of New York, both upstate and downstate, uh, during her years as lieutenant governor. She's well familiar with some of these issues. But uh, our hope in the Senate majority uh, is to make sure that we are bringing forth these issues in a concrete public policy fashion. So that next legislative session, when we reconvene here in Albany, we can actually come with concrete bills that will actually be able to move the ball forward on some of these issues related to workforce and wealth generation and downtown revitalization. Uh, these are the areas of focus that our committee is going to be bringing forth legislation. And of course, the governor will have an opportunity to hopefully sign that legislation when we pass it. When it comes to the new marijuana law and the implementation of that, do you expect that to be um, a big issue of discussion for these cities as well? Well, certainly the uh, adult use recreational marijuana legislation that passed this past March uh, will be kind of playing out over the next several weeks as we see the Office of Cannabis Management get its upstart. Uh, certainly when it comes to job creation and new market development, Upstate is well positioned to be beneficiary. Uh, I can tell you whether it's on the growing side in some of our more smaller and mid-sized cities in the southern tier, that's a big deal. Uh, but it's also a big opportunity for the retail expansion. We talked about downtown revitalization and development today. That might include a retail operation for an adult use recreational marijuana. To be determined, uh, but we do expect, and the, the studies that we have read, talk about that industry being upwards of $4.6 billion across New York State. That's going to have a direct economic impact for mayors across New York State when they uh, are able to keep their sales tax revenue uh, as part of those retail operation centers. So more to come on that, but it's part of the overall mission of what we're trying to do today. What we're trying to do is to recognize that there are cities that have been disinvested in over a number of years, and there's an opportunity in the New York State Senate to now turn the page, find out what we can do to help these cities in their unique needs and their collective fashion, and then bring forth smart public policy that meet taxpayer benefits, but also meet the need of municipal needs. Yeah, like where to spend money, or is, like, is this all about funding and incentives, or are there things that you can do that 
we don't spend money on it, revitalizing the city? A, a little bit of both. Uh, so obviously funding and the products that come along with different grant programs are incredibly important. We talked about the downtown revitalization initiative that we know the city of Albany was so successful uh, at winning uh, and, and trying to find ways to grow those opportunities. But it's also about public policy. We've talked about AMAID for a long time, for example. How does that money get used? How can we expand that? How can we give mayors and, and county executives the opportunity to, to flex with that so that they can meet the needs of their communities? So it's really both. It's public policy and as well as state investment. 